When you're at the wheel and you just have, you know, 10 balls of clay for 10 mugs and then you just start. I think it's a very soothing thing to be present in that moment with that piece, having to slow down and really pay attention to the material. The wheel's spinning and you have this object in front of you that as soon as you touch it, it'll react. And it's not an illusion, it's three-dimensional. It's actually in your hands and your hands are forming it and the, the muscle memory does what it does. Time passes and you, you don't care. It is this magical thing. I'm really glad I'm an artist. What I do may not be the most practical, but it's something I can't stop and it's enjoyable. I explore ideas of ephemerality and permanence through ceramic installations that involve real and ceramic flowers. So I grew up in Sheridan, Wyoming. There would be a flower shop my mom would take us into and you'd walk in and immediately smell these carnations and then these glass cases would be full of flowers. Thinking back on it now, that's sort of like my first sort of installation art experience, right? Where you're in this environment that transforms the way you feel and um, just takes you to another place. I've always loved nature, so thinking about career choices was difficult, and so I thought maybe I'd do some field drawing or somewhere to be outside, and then I took my first throwing class my junior year of college. Sometimes I just feel like clay found me. And from there on, I just continued on how to improve my craft and skill. So I think the first interest in floral symbolism came from my travels to China in 2011. They do a lot of painting on the ceramics and have a lot of symbolism, so different flowers would signify different things. Just kind of keying into that like language of flowers through ceramics, um, I think started the impulse of me painting more on the ceramic, thinking about ornamentation, and then also about the symbolism of flowers and how that related to my own identity and age. I was really interested, I guess, in just the ideas of ephemerality. I made ceramic daisies and then bought real daisies to kind of contrast the two where one would slowly wilt over time and the other would remain constant. Having the flowers fade, for me that became like a reminder of just, you know, we should think about how we spend our time or um, that time is passing every day. Most of the work that's closest to my heart tends to be larger scale because I want to create an environment where people feel like their body chemistry changes. You know, they're, they're impacted by a kind of landscape of floral imagery. We're at Augsburg University, and this is Temporal Patterns. This installation speaks to cyclical time patterns. That's why I've done different colors of paper with different patterns to sort of represent seasonality. The plants also are sort of indicative of colors or plants you might associate with each season. Then there's also the time-based element, both the seasonality and the passage of time with real flowers. I'm very interested in ideas of, of beauty. 
Just really celebrating the human desire to make ornaments is what I want to try to convey to people, as well as the idea that, you know, we're not here forever. I'm trying to make the most of it. Sure.